Hello guys, welcome back. In this class, we want to discuss string concatenation in Python. Most times in Python, two or more strings are sometimes joined together so that they can be addressed as a single item. Take for example, right there, you have a name and your name comprises of your surname, your first name and your middle name. So if I want to address you, I'll address you by your full name, right? So what if I have a table whereby I have your surname in one column, I have your middle name in another column, then I have your, your fax name in another column, right? So if I want to write a program whereby I want to address you with your full name, then I need to reference your fax name in another column, then your second name in another column, then your surname in the other column. So let me go ahead and do this. I want to assign three variables. The first one is your fax name, represented by F name. Your fax name is Mike, for example. I would say your surname, which is X name, I will call it John. Then your middle name, which I will call M name, I will call it Peace. So here I have three variables, F name, X name, and M name. And maybe I want to introduce this guy to someone with his full name. I might call this variable introduction. I'll open a string. I'll start typing my name. It's, I will use a plus sign. So the plus sign here is the concatenation operator. So if you want to join two strings together, you use the plus sign. So what I'm saying is I want to say my name X and I want to reference his full name. So how am I going to do this? I'm going to join it up to the F name. I will use another concatenate symbol. Now this time I want to concatenate on an empty string. Remember we said this before, this represents an empty string, nothing in between it. Because I want a space between, there should be a space here. I want a space between the fox name, the surname, and the middle name. Alright, so this is the space between the fox name and whatever is coming next. So I will concatenate onto the surname this time, of course, which is capital letter X, then name. And I will concatenate onto an empty space again. Then finally, I will concatenate onto the lax name, which is M name then I'll, I'll move down now if i decide to print to the screen so that i will see the result of what we have there i want to print to the screen introduction then i will hit enter now you see what they have here my name is mike john pix let me explain again i have a string my name x remember that i say space after the x here which is the space observed between x and mike then i concatenated the fox name which is mike using the plus sign now after concatenating the fox name i went ahead to concatenate the fox name onto an empty space which is the double quotation mark without anything in between here which is the space observed between mike and john after that I went ahead to pick another concatenate operator again, which is the plug sign again. I concatenate what? The surname, right? Which is John. Then after John, I need a space between John and Peace. I concatenated again an empty string having just a space in between. Then after which I take the middle name, which is Peace. And here I have the result here. All right, what we just did here looks very simple. But it's something I know you're going to fall in love with in your programming career because it's often used, okay? Reasons must come when you need to join two or more strings together. And the better way to do it is using this concatenate operator. All right, guys, we call it a day here. Thank you for joining us. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next class. And bye for now.